That's just the THX logo. Check, check. Are we on? Yeah, I believe so. With the oh. audio and everything. Wow. I don't see any comments in chat. What does that mean? I think it takes Holy a balls, I know these guys. Okay, there we go. Juicy Boingo. What's yeah. up? Um, Millerbird, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, how are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. What? I assumed. I wait. I did. I didn't send the invite to Darren. I'm gonna send the invite to Darren just in case. Did, did he respond? Is he coming? He hasn't. He hasn't heard. I haven't heard anything from him. But just in case. Ancient moth. Because we know what Timmy up? can't. Darren just didn't respond. Um. What is is this? Faces of news or faces of news? Oh wait, I, you know what? I, I started so quickly. I think I forgot to update the stream info. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so I what, haven't even tweeted this out. I'm, I, I, whatever, yeah, no, let's just I, keep I, it in the family. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna write surprise stream. Because this is not trailer boys. This is not trailer boys. Evil kids. Uh, I'm good. Uh, you took six friends to see Barbarian and they can't stop talking about it. I love it. Thanks, everybody, for your congratulations. Sam looking very breedable this afternoon. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Chance. So, um, how, how's, it, how's Barbarian doing? It's, I mean, like, I, I saw... Well. I saw an article in Variety yesterday about it, which is so funny that like that movie came out, like it's out, like like so like that like after <laughs> what, what press. Are you is, no, I mean like the fact that they're like, hey, let's go back and let's keep writing about this thing that's out. It, it seems like a really good sign. It's good, man. It's like uh, I, honestly, like it's doing better than I'd ever imagined it would do. I, I truly. You know, so yeah, I'm pumped. It's like, um, well, I, it's, the whole journey I, I, has gone better than I thought. I never thought it would be theatrical. And then yeah. when I found it was going to be theatrical, I was like, well, I, I don't know if anyone's going to like it. And then it's 93 on Rotten Tomatoes. And then I'm like, well, I don't know if anyone's going to go see it. And then it was like, it doubled the expectation. It was number one. It's not number one anymore because Woman King, but, um, but it's still doing well. It's like it has an amazing retention. You know, horror movies usually drop. Women King getting in the horror. way of things. All. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait, it's yeah. it's number two. Mm hmm. This is a big weekend too. Pearl came out this week on yeah. more screens than us. We still held the number two. Wow. Woman King took number one, but that's like a it's a big broad that's PG thirteen fifty million dollar action movie. You know, it's yeah it's okay. It's all right. Wow. Yeah. Uh. So you like. Here's something. Here's something to throw out. Not to inflate your ego, but let's do it, dude. Let's go, baby. You made a movie, and yeah. that like like we've we've made movies. We've been in movies, but like I'd say more so than anything else you've ever done, you've made a movie. Like in twenty years, people will be like, "Oh yeah, that movie Barbarian," where. Not not to throw anything under the bus, but like they might not be like, oh yeah, that movie, uh, you know, love and date and switch, <laughs> date date and switch, yeah, 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 Dayton. or uh, college, yeah, yeah, no, college, I mean, yeah. I I think I think it's clear that like you know, so far in my life, that I have two things that I think that will that will stand the test of time: whitest kids you know and barbarian. And and maybe I think Josh would be sad to hear me say that because he'd be like, "What about Sasquatch?" But like, that's his that's his show. Yeah, you know, yeah. these are this is this is my show. That's great. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, 
Yeah, it feels um, good. And and I do love me some wrecked, but I don't think wrecked. I I, I don't think it really punched through, which is too bad. I mean, wrecked is yeah. I, I think wrecked is great, but I mean like I think there's a different level with like the kind of. Uh, uh, I think the level that barbarian is in the zeitgeist now is is just more cemented that, okay so here I, i'm so self-conscious about even talking about this stuff especially on stream because it's like a, but like it's hard for me to even recognize how how it, is it zeitgeisty because I, I can look on twitter and see all these barbarian things but that's because i'm searching for barbarian if you search for anything on Twitter, you're going to get you know a ton of stuff about that subject. So I, I mean, I, I it feels good. I know that it's number one, but it was also like the slowest box office weekend ever. So it's like not not truly, but it was the second slowest box office weekend of the whole year. You know, so it's well, like I'm number one of what you know. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 king of a pile of shit. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> no, uh, uh, I think it was. I I think the thing is, is that like it was a slow weekend, but everyone was like. I think it was kind of perfect because everyone it pushed everyone to see it. It um, and everyone that saw it was seems like very glad they saw it. Like I've seen it on multiple people's like, hey, I recommend this thing who aren't necessarily close to you, um, mm -hmm. like other comedians. Uh, yeah, like Jezelneck, that ruled. The Jezelneck was like super stoked about it. Yeah, and, and I mean, but yeah. like, uh, yeah, I, I saw someone writing like, here are things I'm like into right now. Um, Jared Logan, do you know him? He he was mm -mm. he wrote on um, uh, Trevor's show, um, not Walk the Prince. Yeah, Drew the Barrymore. One. Did you see Drew Barrymore? That was oh really? Oh, you haven't oh, seen yeah. that? Because Justin Long and her used to. Wait, you haven't seen her on Fallon? No, no. Oh, dude, she goes crazy. Oh, really? She's like, Barbarian, it's so scary. It's so scary. <laughs> like, she's freaking out. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty yeah. awesome. I think it's yeah. it's in the zeitgeist. I think that's All right, it. Well, that's it's cool. Like, that's cool. It's on that's people's cool. tongues. It's it's like, that's the thing. It's like, I'm also like, I, you know, I'm, I don't know if you know this, I'm in a sketch comedy group with you. And so... <laughs> Uh, oh when, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know that. I know that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I know. I know. When Instagram is is listening to me, they they tend to hear me talk. That the the you know the internet gods know we know each other. So of course, when I'm looking at my newsfeed, it's going to be like, hey, check out this article of Barbarian. And so part of me is like, how you know, I I know the guy that made this. Of course, it's telling me. But right. then I yeah. the, But the people I see talking about it is like. In the way in which they're talking about it is particularly impressive, and yeah, I mean, I think it, it's resonating. Well, that's awesome. That makes me very happy. Thank you, man. I I really appreciate it. Um, I am. I'm getting way Thank too much attention. Drew Barrymore. I I, I know Drew Barrymore it. I'm not likes telling movie. anyone about what else it. Can I asked for it. It's like I do have to say it's not good for me. Like I'm I'm very <laughs> very narcissistic this last week. I mean. I'm like fucking scrolling Twitter, just like who else does a nice thing? Who else does a nice thing? I mean, like, yeah, it's, that can't be good for any brain. I um, mean, at least you like are recognizing it, though. I yeah, mean, I think yeah. there is that kind of that, like a, a psychopath doesn't realize he's a psychopath kind of element of that, you know? Yeah. Uh, is it, what is isn't that? There's something like that. A sociopath doesn't ask himself if he's a sociopath or. I, but how? I bet that's not true. I bet they yeah, do. I don't know. There's something anyway. like that. There's something yeah. like that. But, uh, and I, I think it is about, like, being aware of it because I I think, you know, like, there are those people who are like, all right, well, I'm going to make my next thing. And I made, I, I, the guy who made, like, I don't think you're going to go into your next thing being like, I'm fucking Zach Kreger. I made Barbarian. I'm right about this argument. Like who the I, fuck I, are you? I hope not, but I could be. I I, I don't I don't know. I, I, you know me I, better than you know me well. You know what I'll be. I, don't know. I tend to think that that you'll be aware that like that's part of you. And I mean, yeah. Uh, I there is that that we were talking about this the quote that you did on Sean Fennessy's podcast where you were talking about how Miss March was tragic because you uh, uh, compromised a lot. Yeah, and then when all the all was said and done, on those, 
all those compromises like were then highly criticized and yeah yeah and so yeah so you don't get to you don't get to get crucified for something you even agree with and yeah. you're just like it's a failure and you're punished for it it's brutal yeah 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 uh, um, and, and so but i i think you know like in, in i think you'll not have those moments where you'll be like being pressured into to make those uh compromises of stuff you know is true but i think you you know you're still pretty level headed when making decisions and kind of listen to people and uh you know take that moment to be like i don't like you know there are those moments where you're making a decision and you're not sure artistically if it if it is landing and you kind of like listen to the room and i think there's some people who like get so in, up their own ass they assume because they make that decision it's the right decision Right. Well, sense? that's that that makes a lot of sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah. I, I think yeah. it's it's really great to be able to like like um, come out of a week like Sam and I. I'm talking to chat now. Sam and I were working on Mars this week and it was fun to be able to like come out of the barbarian insanity and then go into the dark room with you and like look at jokes and just like get right back into the like you know what's the best timing for this versus that and it was felt like just normal you know it's like it, it didn't feel it didn't feel weird to me and that 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 that's so valuable so it was, it's cool to be able to still be creative with friends and feel like um it's healthy and, and fun so yeah by the way everybody mars is fucking good yeah <laughs> it is right don't you think it is getting there yeah mars I mean, is getting good dude this is this is a very exciting part of the process. I mean, I think like uh, in something like this, it's all about like ironing things out, you know, like having like yeah. this like, hey, we'll get the 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 broad strokes down, and then we'll get like more and more specific and and make sure everything is smooth. And now we're at that point where where stuff is getting that pacing that it needs, and it's really fun. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to pull up a couple of like screenshots on my phone here to show people like some more because I know I tweeted out Timmy, but like here's this is one of Trevor's characters. Looks good, right? Ooh. Um, hang on. I might give us a little TOS violation here, but whatever. It's fucking funny. There's no nudity. There's no nudity. There's no nudity. It's just I've... Timmy and Darren fucking. Um, I've shown worse. You've shown worse. Yeah, the when we when I showed that porn star that looked like Timmy and I barely blurred it. That's awesome. <laughs> I guess it can't focus. There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah. Anyway, it's gonna be good, dude. It's really coming along. Yeah. Um, it's like, but I have to say to everybody, like, I know we have talked about our moving goalposts of money. The closer we get to the finish line, the more things are popping up. We just got nailed for a $30,000 tax bill that we didn't realize we were going to get nailed for. And then, like, we're putting together, like, we're, we, we're realizing that the budget that we've been working on didn't have, like, certain sound elements in it. So, like, you know, I, 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 I feel bad, but, like, we, you know, we still have a ways to go and we still have to raise more money. So, um, we're figuring yeah. out how we're going to raise that money. Um, I know that we're not going to probably... We, we might need another $100,000. And I don't think we're going to be able to do that from you guys through Twitch, which is okay. Yeah. You guys have given us so much. So so don't worry. We're, but we're looking at ways that maybe we can get some like other investors Ooh, or corporations. Miller Bird has a good idea. To come in and, and help. So. Miller Bird says, all those barbarian profits. I have... <laughs> uh, if you guys know how much money I have made off of barbarian, you would, you would feel very sad for me. Um, <sighs> it is not... Not a lot. I, I promise you. So not to say I won't. I'm sure I will make money off of it in the future. But to date, <laughs> I have not made a living off of that movie. Um, so, uh, anyway. I got a question for you. Barbarian two had a couple ideas. Believe it or not, had a couple oh, ideas. Whoa. Recently. Okay, so it's funny because I've been asked now. Like I've been seriously asked. Like, do yeah, you that's, do? That's, yeah, would there be another one? Like, I, I could probably get a, a. You know, I'm sure I could walk in and like get paid to write Barbarian two. Um, but I have said a bunch like, no, what would it be? You know? And I made a joke that like the, the sequel would be like, if the mother survives her gunshot and then like has to 
reintegrate into society and go to community college and like get her driver's <laughs> license and like go on Tinder and all the while she's like having freakouts and like ripping people to pieces and stuff like that would be hilarious like but, Edward Scissorhands but with a mother basically that is basically my character in Mars <laughs> yeah kind of kind of Honest, that's so funny yeah that's so funny <laughs> that's not, yeah, so I, it's basically, not, there's a yeah. major it's a spoiler for Mars and a spoiler for Barbarian but like yeah so sorry everybody. if you haven't seen oh, yeah. it, if you're in here and you haven't seen Barbarian what are you doing? What are you, Come on, what are you we're doing with your life? Let's see. Yeah. Are, you know, you are we not friends? Go see my movie. Yeah. Why are you watching this this shitty stream? You should be seeing. Should be in the theaters right now. You know what's really fun though? I have to say, so I was in. Ter- <laughs> there is what? someone who's like next weekend. <laughs> well, I don't think. I, well, deal with it. Deal with it. Who I'm gonna go that? see it tomorrow. I'm a little bitch. Oh, there are a bunch it. of people who haven't seen it. Well, go see it, guys. guys. Whatever, I don't think I'd ruin too much. I don't, I don't think you could know from what I just said, like, what's going on. So that's okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I have to say, so I was in Toronto for a screening of it for TIFF, and a doll licker came up and and said, what's up to me outside on the side? She was like, she was like, go fuck yourself, doll licker. And, like, it was the greatest thing. Like, we hung out forever. Like, we talked for, like, 25 minutes, I think, probably. Susan, am I right about that? We cried. We talked about Trevor. We both cried. It was like a really, I, it just meant the world to me to have a doll licker come up in the throes of like a barbarian thing and say like, yeah. hey, I'm a doll licker. And I just want everyone to know that like, I do feel like we are, we have a thing here. And, and yeah. it's not like, um, it's not just bullshit. And, and to have one of you guys come up and say, hey, to me, doll licker. And it's like, it, I immediately felt like I was talking to a friend that I hadn't met yet. And that sounds corny as shit. But like, I do think of this as like the home team and I really love you guys like <laughs> truly and we've been in this for two years now like doing this thing it's fucking awesome so so um, that that really made my day um, Phosphophobia anyway. Phosphoph- yeah. brings up a good point Zach that's how what? you get stalkers I know I know <laughs> I know and I've that has crossed my mind um, but what are you gonna do you know I don't know yeah I'll never let any of you know where the fuck I live. <laughs> um, I've watched someone. I'm sure I've been doxxed hard already. I'm sure so anybody could figure that out. But please don't fucking come to my house. Um, um, yeah. I mean, and 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 here's what I'll say, guys. Like, uh, we're very down to talk to people and like be like, you know, like the fact that you're here is great. We we appreciate it so much. Uh, but also that. That doesn't mean we're gonna like be okay with any sort of behavior you throw our way, right? Uh, Wait, what are you talking? I think that's like the difference. No, no, no. But I mean, I think sometimes people go like, like, oh, hey, I, I'm, I think I've seen your thing, and I'm your, your friend, and so, hey, what's up, bitch? Uh, Well, that yeah, all these other people fucking suck, right? And you're like, come on. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's not good. Um. How come you had to build the town in Bulgaria? Well, we could never build the town in Detroit. Uh, we couldn't because we have to retrofit it for a flashback. So you, we just it would be way too dangerous. Sorry, and way too expensive, and we just we couldn't do it. So yeah. Uh, why is Newsboys thirteen gone? Because uh, use your imagination. It's it it'll come back, but we have to do a yeah. little surgery, and I don't want to. Um, uh, there's a lot of new attention, and I don't want to make. Uh, a big bunch of bullshit for myself that's going to give me problems in my life. So um, so that's why. But um, it'll be back. We're just going to we're going to do that. Well, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. The government made us take it down. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. The FBI oh, came. Fuck. Yeah. Fucking um, FBI. Right? Oh, I could tell you were in Bulgaria because the Jeep was badged Cherokee instead of Liberty. I know. And then when we came and shot in Detroit, because we did shoot in Detroit... Um, it, 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 it was a Patriot, not a Cherokee. Uh, in Europe, the same model is called a Patriot. Or maybe I've got it flipped. Whatever. But yeah, the same model has different names. It's really weird. Um, what else? What else besides Barbarian? What what's going on? Yeah, what else is going on? Timmy uh, got a house. Timmy moved. Timmy bought a house. Uh, Pretty cool. How's was- Wally? Wally is good. We went to the Huntington Huntington Gardens yesterday. Oh, he's in the flowers now. He's going yeah, to the he's flower into phase. flowers. Yeah, big. Yeah, 
big flower guy. I think that's cool. So can he he can see everything now and he can like interact with the world on like a his his brains are his eyes and his brains are connected or no? Kind of sorta. They're like it's it's an it's a cool moment when you like uh when you see him see stuff, but it's not like an all the time thing. Um my favorite thing was yesterday I was holding him. Have you been to the Huntington Gardens? Uh, yes. The Huntington Library? There's a part in the the uh, Japanese gardens where there's like a waterfall that you walk under. And uh, I'm holding him. And, you know, he's still like, his neck isn't like very like strong. But like, so I'm holding him over by the waterfall. And it's like on this side of me. And he goes, like, he's like looking over here. And he just goes. And it's like this really expressive, like, whoa, what the fuck is that kind of sound? Like, I got to see him, like, <laughs> Okay, so he's reacting to the world around him. All right. A waterfall for the first time. That was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a dad now. If I were you, I would have held him under the waterfall so he could really <laughs> experience it. But that's just me. True. Yeah. Um, People don't like it when I do stunts with him. <laughs> oh, you're, well, you're always like, Emily, go along. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no. <laughs> Emily, go yeah. along. You do that She's like, like no, and I just have to throw it at the couch. <laughs> it. <laughs> what if I throw it? What if I had like a perfect replica of Wally made, and then I came over and like we like hid Wally, and I it was like tripped and like threw it. And do you think that she would even after we were like, it's a fake, it's not Wally, that she would be like, get out, or do you think she'd think it was funny? I think she might think it's funny. I think she might okay. think it's funny. <laughs> That's a lot. I, I I think most most moms wouldn't. That's I not think, a knock on moms. They're right. Well, here's the thing. I mean, like, hey, those kids. They're like, this kid is is squirmy. He's slippery. There's been some close calls. It happens. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I am so afraid of that. Like, I keep on imagining that. Like, I'm like holding him, and I'm like, if I trip. I think my instinct is gonna like it's it's gonna be so bad. You trip because... your instinct is just to actually like put him down, plant him, so that you don't like yeah. bunk your chin. Like it was my instinct. I, I don't know. It's it's reflex. Yeah, I'm no, but like I am like going to like do. Uh, spoiler alert for. Uh, I'm gonna do the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Spoiler: If you haven't seen earmuffs, if you haven't seen Barbarian. Uh, I'm I'm I would do the mother thing, from the oh, end. yeah where you would you would turn yeah and it would Ugh. fucking hurt like hell I bet right so you really think that your paternal instinct has kicked into the degree where you would without thinking sacrifice your body for his yeah when I'm like holding if I threw him. a tomahawk on a flaming tomahawk <laughs> and you're holding wall and I throw it right at you you would you would turn and and take it I. Because yeah. I would, I would hold my child out and block the tomahawk. Because <laughs> you can always—that's because I'm smart, and that's why I'll you can survive. always make more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you think I give a shit? <laughs> this this kid took me nothing. I could do this easy. Well, I mean, if the tomahawk wasn't on fire, I could say for sure. But with the tomahawk being on fire, ooh, yeah, yeah. Zach, have you been thinking about throwing a flaming tomahawk at Sam's baby? I literally, that's what I just said. So, yeah, listen. <laughs> Jesus. Um, spoilers are over. Spoilers are over. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Spoilers are over. Uh, what happened to Self Suck? This is this is Self Suck. This is Self Suck. Yeah. Oh, unless you uh, want us to, like, watch sketches and, like, talk about them. It's funny how that kind of just stopped being what we do. Well, we started getting really sad. Why? Oh, right. Trevor died. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, we, we still do it sometimes. I think I think it's just like... It's hard know, to watch Trevor. It's hard I think it's Trevor. it's one of those things when we have, like, everyone here. Yeah. Um, uh, I like that you guys do your own thing on every stream now. Me too. I like that more. Uh... uh Grab sack, turn a turn and cough. I love you too. Uh, I love you, Riverheart. Uh, Trent Reznor died. No, Chum. What up, Chum? Griffin. Oh, Chum. Chumy. Uh, you should watch Honey, I Shrunk the Kids sketch. It's just Sam and Zach one. That is that is a funny one. 
I love it. You, I love at the end of that video, like, I don't know, honey, I shrunk those little kids or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> honey, I shrunk those little kids or some shit. Is, that's fucking funny. Well, it, it's that the last one was like, <laughs> you owe me $50. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> that's like, the cheapest so... therapist in the world. <laughs> it's a copay. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Um,. Yeah, that, that character definitely has insurance. Uh, There's a thing I found that I want to show you. Uh, whose idea was it to use Ricky Ticky Tavi and Barbarian? Me. Um, you know what's funny? Um, what? Oh, here's a fun Barbarian thing we can talk about. Uh, but uh, a funny thing with... Um, uh, I'd say like the the difference between there's one difference between Miss March and Barbarian. Oh, okay, uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and when I watched Miss March, I was really surprised that the soundtrack was so bad. <laughs> okay, like you mean the score? No, no, no. I mean like the the songs that you chose for the movie. Like 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 the like the score to scenes or like needle drops, like were there uh, any needle drops? You just mean like the music in the background, like while like we're the, the doing s- action sequences and all. Hey that hey stuff. girl, yeah. Uh, oh, we didn't pick that shit. That was marketing. <laughs> yeah no exactly like that, that. That's the thing. Hey like, hey girl, you uh, wild life. Oh, it's so bad. Wasn't there like ZZ Top in it too? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, I feel like like there there were songs in the movie that weren't uh, horse stick dot mpeg and um, uh, uh, score and it and it was just surprising to me that it wasn't that it wasn't like it wasn't good that it wasn't like in your taste it was well yeah because like we there's just so much in retrospect that like we didn't do right on that movie and I remember like we'd originally cut the remember the fire chase scene where the ambulances or the fire trucks are on either side of Trevor and my car and the firemen are like throwing axes at us and shit originally I cut that scene to high on fire like I found all this like heavy metal stuff and I like timed it so it was just like this really fun you know shit yeah they were like no and then we originally scored it the way we'd score widest kids it was like kind of like cartoony like boom 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 Boom, 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 boom. You know that kind of stuff. Yeah, and um, they wouldn't let us. You know, so like we we did get like totally fucked by by the studio. Of, you know, when it came to music. Yeah, that was I a think, bummer. I think that's how you can tell that it's like got taken out of your hands to yeah an unfair degree. It's weird how many people do tell me that they like Miss March. Like doll liquor, go fuck yourself. I saw Miss March before White Kids, and I loved it. It's like. I need to watch. I have not watched it in since two thousand and nine. Like the last time I watched it was like a, one of the test screenings. Yeah. I've never seen it since. I should watch well, it again. Here's the thing, too, though. Uh, is your Jazzercist says it hasn't aged well. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hasn't aged well. But you're also judging it like for everything bad that that is in it. Yeah, me totally. I'm really hard on it. And you see every every single like thing that you're like, "Ooh, I wouldn't do that today." And uh I think the people that really liked it see everything that's unique and fun. Well, that's that's certainly got to be true. I I do not have a uh, an objective opinion. You want to know something really funny? My buddy Kevin has this podcast called Real Blend. Um it's good. It's a really good podcast. They have huge guests like Tarantino's on it all the time. They have like major people. He was interviewing um, fucking Catwoman, uh, Anne Hathaway, on a video thing. <laughs> I was like, he, Halle Berry. Uh. And yeah. And he he's interviewing Anne Hathaway, and he behind him, he has like a wall of DVDs. And she's like, look at all your DVDs. And she's like, just grab one at random, and let's talk about it. And he's like, okay. And he just reaches back, and he pulls out Miss March. He's like, Miss March. He's like, have you seen this? And she's like, I have not. <laughs> he's, like, he's like it's pretty good it's a really funny movie she's like I'll have to check it out 
<laughs> it's like this like bikini lady on it's just so stupid it's like oh my god anyway i mean it's funny like there there were like those type of movies i mean definitely like in the the 90s it was sort of that like uh in the early 2000s that sort of like like um horny teen comedy but it's it's was like um kind of a reference to the 80s movement where everything there was a huge genre of like summer yeah, school porkies. type movies porkies yeah, yeah like movies made in that in that vein you know that would be a fun trailer boys to just watch like horny teenage boy 80s uh trailers you know like all the meatballs porkies <laughs> you know because there's got to be a thousand like for every meatballs, there's probably five attempts at meatballs that like really sucked. I've never seen meatballs. Maybe it's good, but there was a fun. There was a fun one that that uh, they watched. It wasn't on an episode I was on, but uh, called uh, Knights of Hollywood with Robert Wool that I'd never heard of. That was huh. definitely that like Animal House, Porky's kind of thing. You got to cool. do Trailer Boys. I know, I know, I do, and, and Nate asked me to do one tomorrow, but I don't, I, I, I don't know if I'm doing it or not. I can't remember what's going on. All right, uh, I found something fun I want to show you. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen this before. Uh, I might ruin the stream for a second, but fuck it. Uh, I should see. probably pull some donos up. Maybe we got some donos. All right, wait. I, sorry, I ruined the stream for a second. Big dogs. Sorry, guys. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Um... Hey, hey, girl. You're the wild lion. Wait, sorry. Shit. Oh, my God. Welcome well, back to so Dad's bad. on the Internet. Oh, no. I got dadded on the Internet. You got oh, dadded, go. bro. Can you guys hear me? Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Um, okay, let me do the donos. Let me do, I, I only did one, so I'll do it again. But it was from Professor Mark Live, donated 20 bucks. Thank you very much, Professor. It says, I'm really squeamish with horror movies and Barbarian is one of the few horror movies I wanna watch again, along with Audition. I mean, look, if you haven't seen Audition yet, you just prepare yourself. It is, it is not for the squeamish. It is fucking h hardcore. Uh, but it's awesome. It's great. Watch it. VR Spin donated 10 bucks. Says, Zach, I'm so fucking proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself as well. The film was phenomenal and well worth the wait. So happy to share my Saturday with you guys. Well, thank you very much. And I, I feel the same way. I'm very happy to be here. Um, yeah, if you want to donate, we still need a lot of money for Mars. We are we're, we're making great progress, I promise. I know we keep saying, like, you know, that we're almost there and then the goalpost moves, but, like, it's it's just because it's getting better and better and our, our quite frankly, our standard of quality is, is kind of risen. And so yeah. it's it's all it's all good, you know. It's just, um, it just <laughs> takes more time. Take more money. You know, on Twitter recently I had a tweet that was, um, I want to get uh, liposuction, pec implants, ab implants, and calf implants. Should I go with GoFundMe or uh, like what? Is, what's the other one? Uh, and someone replied, "Oh, you should uh, say you're making a movie with your comedy troupe." And then, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I died oh, a little bit inside." That hurts. I was like, "I swear, we're doing this." That hurts, dude. I look. We have proof. This movie is getting made. Wait, let me see if I can find another another uh, another still. Here's another still. Wait, are, am I oh, wait. full we're, screen we're, or what? We're still in, in big dog mode. We'll show show right, it. Well, in a we'll, second. I'll show you this later. What, what are you doing with this big dog? Do what you're gonna do. All right, all right. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. All right. Uh, 
So this is a thing that, that Trevor and I came up with, uh, and I found the, the file for it recently on the, the, this is, we used to do this live on the road, uh, where we would talk about how like Big Dog, we all remember Big Dog. Uh, well, we would talk about, we bought Big Dog and we uh, uh, have our own Big Dog t-shirts we're making. So Big Dog's like this, if you don't remember, he's this dog. Uh, can you still, oh uh, shit. Wait, how does this, all right, oh wait, here, wait. There we go. All right, he's this dog, lots of attitude. Uh, how about never, is never good for you? And then, uh, <laughs> okay. uh, so that's that's like an old school big dog shirt. And so like, yeah, you get the idea. I like how he so, has the croquis on his glasses so he can like yeah. take his glasses off and wear them around his chest. So this is one of our new ones is, you must have me confused with someone who gives a dick. Okay, All right. I like a it. Lot of gives a uh, dick is a little bit of a clever riff on gives a shit. <laughs> Fuck your Mondays. Ooh, he's It's tough. funny because it's, it's obscene. I'm sorry, I don't celebrate Shawnica. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Is he's, it anti-Semitic? Yeah, it's anti-Semitic. <laughs> what, what's this, this, what's Cha? What is this about? It's, uh, he's This big dog's anti-Semitic and he's making fun of how Hanukkah is spelled. Okay, so you're going to sell anti-Semitic merchandise. We were going to. This was more of a Trevor one. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't throw Trevor under the bus. You're showing it on stream right now. I told you the, the child support check is in the mail, bitch. And then this guy. <laughs> that is insane. Okay. These are, these these are, are escalating. These are t-shirts. Yeah. Uh, let me ask that my is, that big lipstick-shaped dog dick. If I care about your problems. Now, <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. See, here's the, here's the dog, the big dog. He's wearing an Uncle Sam hat, and he's spanking Michael Vick, uh, who was famously uh, arrested for dog fighting. Um, I don't see Michael Vick. I just see a white dog beating a black man. And uh, after the anti-Semitic dog, it's like, this is just very problematic. Again, but, okay. that was probably a Trevor one. I probably think. Trevor, sure, sure. If you ask me, abortion is a sin against God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this one was, oh this God. one was a big seller in some states. Wait, uh, you've sold these? We've sold lots. This yeah. one especially. No, we haven't. Be back in five minutes. Gone cuck hunting. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Why aren't you putting these up on Instagram, dude? Yeah. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> 21 pilots are awesome. <laughs> Not to, to kind of uh, break character here, but this one was such a Trevor one. <laughs> well, what did 21 Pilots sound like? I don't even know what they sound they like. Go, You're going to take some time. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, let me ask my big so lipstick shaped dog <laughs> dick if it thinks I have a problem with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got kind of a catchphrase at this point. <laughs> It works, though. That's the thing about a catchphrase. Yeah. It, by definition, it works on multiple uses. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a catchphrase. It would just be a funny one-liner. Uh, yeah, I voted for Hillary for president of jail. <laughs> <laughs> and the big dog here, he's having a Sunday. Oh, he's, boy. He's wait, wait. Can we just out. briefly take a, take a brief uh, pause to talk about the Hillary Chelsea Clinton show that's on Netflix. Have you seen the trailer for this? No, I have not. It's like Hillary and Chelsea Clinton producing their own TV show where they travel around the country, like do doing whatever the fuck they do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it there. Keep moving. <laughs> what what is entertainment, guys? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Twitter's the sound it makes when I put my dog balls in your mouth. <laughs> So That's this, terrible. This is for someone who, you know, his kids are talking about Twitter. 
I guess, you know, if we, this is a little outdated, it should be TikTok. It should be hashtag TikToks, the sound it makes, but, you know. I don't think this one necessarily works that well, because Twitter, uh, something about this one's not right. It's like, I either want more of a graphic detail when he talks about his balls, or the word Twitter should be more of an actual onomatopoeia kind of a sound. Yeah. Like, no, you're right. I think banging on my garage and it's driving me nuts. I agree with you, Zach. Every shirt before this one worked perfectly. Do I have to go, like, talk to a child and tell him to be quiet? <laughs> it's like, he rides his scooter over. Like, this is a glass wall. This is glass, right? So, like, ride his scooter, like, right up to the glass. My dog goes crazy. It's like, driving me fucking nuts. Anyway. Hey, kid. I, I want to go out there and be like, get the fuck off my child. But he's like this cute little kid. It's, like, ridiculous. I, I, I don't want to know. Anyway, keep going. You're now that, like, I'm going to keep your Frisbee guy. No, no. I'm like so mean in here about it. Like, I'm like, this fucking kid, I fucking hate this kid. And then I go open the door, I'm like, hey, buddy, can you, I need you to, okay, thanks, bud. Have a great day, bud. And I close the door, I'm but, like, fucking you little piece of shit. But the, the, the twist is the, the, the glass on your garage is very thin and you can hear you perfectly going, well, then if you can hear me, then you can fucking, hey, bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm on a gluten This is a good one. I'm on a gluten-free diet. I mostly eat your mom's ass. <laughs> so much attitude. Yeah. This big dog's yes. You could say this to a kid. You could go, "Excuse me, can you can you calm down? I'm on a gluten-free diet. I mostly eat your mom's ass." <laughs> Something just happened to the sound. Oh, is it? Check, check. I just heard My, like a <laughs> Sounds better now. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a bet. This is a good yeah, one. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to vaccinate my kids with my lipstick-shaped dog dick. <laughs> that is really out of control. You know uh, what's So crazy? what is he saying here? What what's, is he saying? What's crazy is... Oh, my my mic is 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 having problems here. Let me... Let me... Sorry. Let me, let me try one more thing. Okay. How's it now? Is it okay? It's good. I'm, I'm right. hearing this boy singing. I'm hearing my wife coming home being like, okay. She's just like me. She's like, hi, okay, good. And she's going to close the door and be like, shut the fuck up. So the um, crazy thing about this is we made this in like 2017. Uh, you made the shirt physically, or you made the graphic? No, the graphic. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, before Rona. Before the Rona, we made. So this, this was when it was just like Jenny Jenny McCarthy was talking about, you know, being anti-vax and that kind of stuff. It wasn't yeah. like a big deal yet. That's no, so funny. yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't as big of a deal. Yeah, but yeah. like he's basically saying he molests his own children. <laughs> like that's and, what it, that's the message here. Yeah, I'll I'll fuck my kids before I vaccinate my kids is what he's saying. That's that's wild. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're taking it there. And also, the, this I'm graphic, taking it there? No, I'm not taking it there. He's taking it there. No, I mean, that's what he would say. Is that like, yeah. oh, oh, come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and also, I think it's funny that this dog, this is, you know, we, we repurp, surprise, we, this, a lot of this is Photoshop, but. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh. This, the drawing of this dog clearly has a Hitler mustache. No, I thought that was like the shadow from his snout. I think it's like a little black. Wait, show me spot, another drawing. Let's see. Is he, does he have it in like, all of them? Oh yeah, he. But like here, it's a shadow from a snout. There, it's a little bit of a Hitler mustache. Yeah. It just really well, looks like a Hitler mustache in that one. He's an alt right dog. I mean, we know he's alt right. <laughs> I'd like to see you try <laughs> Wait, and take my one? gun out of my ass. So he's saying his gun is up his ass. <laughs> well, I don't get this yeah. one either. It's weird. I'd like to try and see you take my gun out of my ass. It's he's just got so much attitude. He's um, just mad. He's not making sense. <laughs> I think we should have sold those shirts, and I think I think actually, so. Is it too late? Would you get sued? Done really. It's parody. Well. Can't you? Isn't it satire? Parody. Yeah, maybe. Have you seen what Joe Mandy does? Have you seen like Joe Mandy's hats? Oh, they're awesome. Wait, they're so good. 
Yeah. Let me get back to the... There we go. All right, now you can show that thing from Mars. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Joe um, Mandy's hats, while, while you're bringing that up, he takes pre-existing hats and then uh, sports hats. Ooh. It, you can't really see it. It's, like, blown out. I can tell it's blown out, but... It's oh, look, the, you can see your reflection right there. Anyway. I think I might have... Uh, he takes pre-existing hats, like, that are sports logos, and he makes them into phrases. Like, there's, like, the West Virginia College team sport yeah. logo he makes a wilmer valderrama which is so funny and he like hand sews it in like he hand I, w- it. I would love one of those hats but i'd feel too like precious about it to ever wear it like this hat like you know all my hats are like they're gonna die within a couple of months because i wear them all the time but I, those are like art there's yeah a bunch of astronauts zoom in on it it, it just looks like white blobs so our donate button's not working, unfortunately. Our donate button's not working? That's what somebody's saying. What? The Streamlabs? Add it to the oh. list. Uh, ch- you can donate to uh, us on PayPal. Um, also, you know what? I was thinking I, I could sell some apples. Does anyone want to buy some of my apple paintings? I'll sell... I'll like... <laughs> like um, we gotta, we gotta really start raising some money, so like, I will, I could like, cut, I'm proud of these apples though. Red, red so fruit like, for uh, the red planet. Huh? Red fruit for the red planet. Yeah man, exactly. I was thinking I could just start banging out a bunch of apples and people could send some, they could Venmo me and I'd mail it to them. Um, something to think about. Cool, yeah. Uh, how, how much should I sell an apple for? Like a hundred bucks an apple, maybe? Um... I don't know. That might be too much. Maybe fifty. I sent. I think I sent someone to TikTok, or not a TikTok. Uh, a, a kind of unofficial cameo. They hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I recorded it. Um, I'll buy one for How fifty dollars. How much could a banana cost? If you sign it, I will sign it. I could sign it. I could also write whatever you want. I have so many. I mean, this is what I do. I just paint apples. Um, I have a friend who, uh, he's a cartoonist. He's the guy that created Tig and Seek. And he had a, he has a book, blank drawing book. And he drew these like, kind of like, uh, uh, cartoon storks. And they're all kind of like wacky poses and different poses on the page. And just drew the same stork in filled the book with it and like has like gotten to the point where he's in the end of the book and he's like not finishing it because he doesn't want to finish it i i understand that very uh i, I was gonna feels. say it's very uh uh elden ring zach yeah i'd rather stop before i finish so i could keep it as something i have um signed barbarian posters would sell i should do yeah i have a bunch of those oh my god i've and I have I have rare posters. So this is whoa. the one with Justin. I think I showed these on a stream before. Oh whoa! There's, there's a Bill poster. You can't get these anywhere, baby. These were just yeah. made for Comic Con. Um, so those, are, you, those are cool. Now there's a lot of uh, other al- alternative posters coming out for. Oh, for they're so cool too! They're it's this kind of creepy cool. duck design, and they're the best, dude. Have you have you seen all of them? Can you pull them up? I don't know how to do that. All right, let I don't me, know like let where me. they are. Let me get on this. Oh, do you guys hear this kid? Wait, listen, listen. He's activated Augie, so Augie's freaking. He's like standing right, he's standing right there. (laughs) Sometimes you can see his little shadow, like right, right here. You should. Oh, shh. He says, slow down, little puppy. <laughs> Augie has attacked him, too. Augie hates little kids. So, like, one time Augie got out and, like, ran at him. was like, ah, 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 and he was like, ah. It was like a real, real thing. It was really funny. Anyway. Okay. Zach, please talk about the RuneScape reference in the sketch. Just acknowledge it for me. I don't know what RuneScape is. Do you know what he's talking about? Uh, I've heard of RuneScape before, but I, I know it's a 
game, but I don't I don't play it. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, actually, I, I want to ask you uh, a couple questions about stuff that's like sort of uh, things that are not white as kids reference, but sort of uh, kind of personal within Barbarian. Okay, I'm into. Uh, there's the line that when the when um, one of the characters is talking about being part of an art collective, he goes, "I'm not like the guy, but I'm like one of the guys." Yeah, is that a whitest kids? Do you think that it maybe not a whitest kids reference, but inspired by the fact that like people might go, "Oh, whitest kids, you know," and you go, "Yeah, I'm not the guy, but I'm like one of the guys." Oh, uh, meaning like never I'm not occurred Trevor. To me. I'm not Trevor, I'm not... but I'm like one of the guys. Yeah. Um, maybe subconsciously, but not 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 intentionally. Okay. Uh, All right. My other question is: Were you? on the uh were you on the road with us when we did Gainesville Gainesville and we stayed Maybe. we got that hotel that was so bad no that we, I was oh, not okay all right that's but I the, remember you guys telling me it was like insane the moment when when uh the the documentary filmmaker is like oh you shouldn't stay there mm -hmm. and that was very similar to the moment we showed up at the club and told them where we were staying and they were like, "You can't be there." They're like, "Oh <laughs> that's no, not, that's no good." <laughs> yeah, like that. That just the the like the weight of it. That sort of like, like, oh yeah, this isn't even a question. Like this isn't like, oh that might be a bad idea. They were like, oh don't no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, VR something. spin. Yes, an Airbnb in Brightmore. That is how she says it. <laughs> yeah. That um, woman was a local hire. She was a Bulgarian. Oh, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So were the cops. The cops were local hires. Who else? The the accountant was local. Who else? Oh wow, really? Lots of people. Yeah. Huh. Wait, so you shot the accountant in Bulgaria? Mm-hmm. Green screen. Oh wow. Yeah. That seems like such like an easy. The receptionist, thing. yeah, the receptionist was Bulgarian. You could really hear her accent. The woman who opens the door to Richard Brake is Bulgarian. Who else? The woman who works at the drugstore was uh, a British woman. Who else? Yeah. Kurt That's... Kurt Bronneler, who's been in other Whitest Kids things. He's Bulgarian. <laughs> He's Bulgarian. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I can't. All right, I, I, I all right. So there, I, I've got these these posters, but I wish they they organized them. They don't really organize them. There's a bunch now. There's like five. Yeah. Um. Yes, I play two roles. Screw up. Yes. I'm on the phone, and I'm in the bar. And you used a real guy's name for uh, um, the manager, right? Um, no. It's like David Stern and Melissa Herberts. It's just random. If there oh. are real people's names, they're not intentional. Oh, I was thinking of Brian Stern is, was uh, right, right, right. an agent we had. All right, so yeah, that, that's why it was. It was very close to Brian Stern. Yeah. Um, Cool. Um, let's see. Uh, what? What? What are you looking for? I'm trying to find this. This, this stream just ground to a halt. Um, <laughs> I thought Zach was the homeless guy first. Place. Oh yeah, that was James. He's an American. Oh, here's a story. So James who plays the homeless guy. What? What are you gonna say? My my favorite line. Hey little girl. <laughs> hey little girl. Hey little girl. Little girl. Come out of that house. Me. So James that. has a glass eye. Have I oh, told you this? No. I think I might have talked about this on stream. And he has yeah. a glass eye because he used to be a stunt man, and he was in a Steven Seagal movie, and Steven Seagal picked up a crowbar which he wasn't even supposed to use, and he fucking hit James in the head with it while the cameras were rolling, and exploded his eye, and he never apologized. And James had to have like 
fucking major surgery, glass eye, all this stuff. And sued, got paid by the studio, thank God. But Steven, Steven Seagal never apologized. And then years later was in an interview and one of, somebody asked him, like, didn't you like blind a stuntman? And he was like, that's what they're for. What a uh, fucking psycho, right? That's um, like, yeah, that that's insane. And yeah, wait, isn't St- Steven Seagal's a cop? Like, he's yeah, one of those in like, shack in like Louisiana guys. or something. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Well, makes sense. Yeah, uh, <laughs> everyone's like, oh man, you fit in. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, we like whoa, your shots vibe fired. Here. Sam, yeah. I didn't know you were a cab, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Steven you know, Seagal would wear every one of those shirts. My lipstick shaped dick. <laughs> yeah. um, well, uh, me and Alex on the drive home from from watching the movie, or, or another friend of ours, uh, were joking around about that guy, about like that guy after at the moment after he chased the girl into the Airbnb, being like, "Oh, that did not go how I planned." <laughs> Gotta work on my people skills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, That's little funny. girl, don't go in there. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, why do people keep running away from me? <laughs> um, all right, wait. What else wait. is going on? I got these posters. Movie ideas. I got some of these posters. Movie. Oh, we got some more donos. Here we go. Doing them. And Fez donated $50. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. And Fez says, Zach, in early streams, you thought the studio would change the name Barbarian. How did you keep it? That You know what? I got on a Zoom with them, and I said I liked it, and they let me keep it. That simple. They were they wanted to change the name of the movie. Did I tell you this, Sam? I know you know this. But they wanted the movie to be called GTFO, and I didn't. And they were, like, cool with it. So thank God. Thank God they were. Um, Dr. Oh. Fun MD donated, said, Zach, love Barbarian. Came out of my birthday and I convinced my wife to see it with me. Was intentional? Was it intentional to use Bill and Justin in opposite roles than might have been expected, a la Promising Young Woman? Yes. Uh, Miller Bird says, working just fine. Thank you, Miller Bird. Pop Tart donated 20 bucks. Thank you, Pop Tart. Said, glad to see you, boys. Zach, it's been so cool to see randos on my Facebook say they saw your movie and they loved it. Stoked for you. Thank you so much. That is very cool. Uh, bed in a bucket like that said can the trailer for the next movie you direct say from the psychopathic mind of Zach Gregor uh, <laughs> probably not probably not but I think that would be cool uh, from the sick warped brain that brought you Miss March well that's a good one that's a good one, a good one. I like that image of her I think that's cool okay, sorry. that's dope as hell got no beef with that very cool I really like that one a lot too. I love that yeah. hand. I think that is so good. These are available. Are there? Can you order these? I don't oh, know. No, they're dig- digital posts. They're digital. I wonder if I could get the studio to send me them. I bet. I, I bet if I really tried, I could. To but like, I'm not the guy that would like put them up in my house. You know what I mean? I feel like that's such a bad look, like to have like in your home, like your posters for your stuff. So I'm, I'm not gonna do that. But. I don't know. Nah, but it's different. It's first of all, it's your background for your Twitch thing. Also, it's very small. It's in your it's in your like office. It's for the visual of it. It's different. I mean, you know, you you've got your garage. You put up one of these. I can do it in here. I think the thing is though too is is, I mean the the posters that I put up uh, are the ones that, like I I really admire the, the art. Of them. Yeah, like the Dave Clock did a bunch of these, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, yo, all of these are great, man. Creepy Duck just does the best. Look at that. Wait, go up to Terrifier Two. I saw so wait, that in London. I saw Terrifier Two. It was like the only movie I was like really. I was like, I've got to go see this. That movie is fucking hardcore. I'll just say that. Okay, so um, do you have to not see ter- the squeamish Terrifier One? I you don't have to. It's not like you're not going to know what's going on. It's about a clown that just kills everybody. That's all it is. So like, you definitely don't have to. But uh, it says read chat, read chat. What is this? Wrong window, Sam. Wrong window. They're not oh, looking at the oh, right thing. Oh my God. Were they looking at your? What were they looking at? Uh, the big. Sorry, dog everybody. The big dog poster. 
All right, can you see it now? I forgot this was a window share. So this was the first poster that we looked at. Good Lord. That was great. Great image. The... All right. Um, All right, keep moving, keep moving. That one's rad. This was the third one. I love that one a lot. I love that hand. That's what I was saying about that one. Uh, let's see. And then, yeah, look at that Terrifier. Go to that Terrifier poster. That's fucking great. Um, yeah, cool. And then my buddy Parker made Smile. It's funny. I've really gotten to know a ton of horror directors lately. So um, Smile's by my buddy Parker. And that's supposed to be good. I, I haven't seen it yet. He invited me on Thursday. I couldn't go. But that is supposed to be pretty legit. Do you think there's... It seems like there's a lot of big horror movies this year. It seems like there's a lot of bad, like a lot of like the mainstream is kind of shit. But like, it seems like with your movie, with if Smiles good. Uh, yeah. Well, Smiles then, a big mainstream. It was a, it was like mine. It was an indie movie that got like swooped up because of because it was good, and the studio decided to release it theatrically. So like, I bet that movie slaps. Ty, you know, Ty's doing but, great. Like Ty, yeah, he's got. Both both his movies came. Pearl out this came year, out this right? weekend. Yeah, Pearl came out this weekend. But he, and X, I thought X was great. I haven't seen Pearl yet. I haven't seen either yet. But yeah, I mean, it seems like a, a big year for horror. And then uh, Nope. Nope, uh, of course, yeah, Nope. See, now your movie gets compared to Malignant a lot, which is kind of funny. I know. I know. Uh, you didn't like Mal Malignant, are you saying? Or I like Malignant. I do. I thought it was like so. I I liked it because it was like insane. Yeah. Um, but I'm not I'm not like the world's biggest malignant fan, but I was just like I appreciate that it goes crazy. But I don't love that Barbarian is like talked about in the same sentence as malignant a lot. Yeah, uh I think probably they're just different. Probably the the big similarity is that they're both monster movies. Spoiler. It, Jesus. Oh. I mean, <laughs> Uh, These are good posters, man. Creepy Duck rules. VHS. You know, my friend Kelsey's in VHS, too. I think my friend Chloe did a did VHS 94 segment. Chloe Okuno. She also did The Watcher, which is a good movie. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, I just heard something about The Watcher. Uh, Watcher's good. It's definitely, definitely good. No, you really like Cujo, Thank you. you said, right? Cujo is great. I've never seen Cujo. Oh, it's so good. It's so much better than it should be. Uh, I've been intrigued by Salem's Lot recently. Like, I, well, I hear it's not the new great. one or the old one. The old one. It didn't work for me. I was I was bored, but it's very dated. You know, I hear it's 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 boring, but I'm like intrigued because it's one of Stephen King's like most like famous. That Jeepers Creepers, look at that. That's a great, wait, can you blow up that Jeepers Creepers one? Jeepers. By the way, have you seen Jeepers Creepers? I didn't see it till I'd already cast Justin. I, I just missed that movie. It's really good, it's super fun. Look at that poster. That is fucking awesome. Isn't the guy that made it a pedophile or something? Yep, yep, convicted, went to jail, like a legitimate yeah. pedophile. Yeah, this yeah. is not, not problematic in any way that I call him that, or like. Uh, no, Victor Salva, yeah. Huh. Huh. American Zoetrope, really? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I guess that's a Coppola thing there, yeah. Predator. Like, right. Creepy Duck is just one of those dudes. I think he, he messaged me. I think he lives in, like, Amsterdam or something. He's just so talented that he just, like, makes these things, and then the studios reach out to him and just say, can we use your shit? And then they pay him. Like, the Barbarian stuff, that's just him being like, I'm going to make you a bunch of posters, and they're going to be so good that you guys are just going to use them. And, like, sure enough, it worked, and Disney, like, you, you know, used them. He, he's a beast. That's great. Womp a stomp. Thank you. Uh, Miller Bird. So he was convicted af after Jeepers Creepers. He was convicted. I, I might have this wrong. And then he did get out of jail and make another movie, which is fucked. Like, how does that happen? Yeah. And it was a kid's movie. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I don't even, I think it was another Jeepers Creepers movie, but I don't yeah. know. What did you get? Sam, did you watch Black Phone? I did not see Black Phone. Okay. All right. 
Chat, what uh, did you think of Black Phone? Did you guys like Black Phone? I'm curious. Let's see. Uh, Something like this. Liked it. It was decent. Eric Andre is going to be in the new Panos Cosmetos movie. That's fucking awesome. I've seen. Uh, I, I've been going to. I don't know if I should say this, but I've been going to those those test screenings. All right, take this take this graphic shit off, so it's us again. The new Eric Andre season, and there are two pranks that are like my favorite of his show. Really? In the new season, yeah. You know what my favorite Eric Andre prank is? It's not even like it's that great, but I just love it. Why, Sam? This is still filling my screen as these posters. There we go. Um, it's the one where the guy like falls down like on a skateboard or something, and then Eric comes up. He's dressed as a potato, and he's like, "I'm a potato. I'm a potato." And everyone's like trying to help this injured man, and Eric just keeps stepping in the middle. He's like, "I'm a living, breathing potato. Hello, look at me. I'm a potato." And everyone's like, "Go away." Yeah, I just thought that was so fucking funny. I, Sarah and I are always like, "I'm a potato. Hello, I'm a living, breathing <laughs> potato." Nobody. I uh, I thought that that uh, yeah. Yeah, his some of his pranks are so like, I don't want to say meta, but like it's it's on that level of like like really thinking about what the audience is experiencing. Yeah, it it's and like A to D, you know, yeah. for sure. It's so fun. Bird up, bird up is dope. Um, what else? What else? What else? You see anything good lately, Zach? What you watching? What you watching? What have I seen lately that I liked? Narcos, Mexico. I've been watching that. Really into it. Oh, is it good? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Ranch me up, bro Tendo. That is fucking funny. Bro Tendo. Dude, come on. That's great. <laughs> uh, it's really fun watching them, like, like uh, also the with these test screenings, the level at which they are, like, they really nuance the pranks and really, like, I mean, the interviews are so long, and yeah. they cut them down to like some. They're ruthless. Sometimes some people will be on for like one second. For it'll be like, oh, yeah. here's this person. He'll just find that one here's moment. the only moment that's good in that, and let's just leave it at that. And you gotta. Yeah. That's what you gotta do, man. Yeah. Um, Better Call Saul. Okay, I am on my third attempt at Better Call Saul. So the first time I watched it, I bailed at like episode six because I was like, I don't want to watch Michael McKeon wrapped in plastic anymore. <laughs> and then I was painting fair, a couple years fair. later and I was writing or, or watching it again. I think I made it midway through season two and then I bailed because I just lost interest. And now Sarah and I, everybody's talking about how Better Call Saul is like, it gets so good and it turns into better than, people say better than Breaking Bad. So finally, we're starting at the beginning again. I'm like episode six again of season one. And I'm just like, why am I doing this? Like, does it get good? Because then Sarah went on a hike with her friend who's like, I'm in season three and it's still nothing has happened. And I'm like, is this true? Like, does nothing happen? Does he get involved in crime? Or am I just watching Bob Odenkirk be a lawyer. I'm, I'm not loving it, dude. I'm just. Yeah. I, I love Bob Odenkirk. I love Vince Gilligan. I thought Breaking Bad is probably the greatest writing I've ever seen, but I am just not getting the Better Call Saul thing. What happens? Does it happen? Someone says nothing happens. That's what I'm told. But some people say it gets it gets better. I'm gonna stick it out. I gotta stick it out. Okay. Uh, have you seen the leftovers? I couldn't get through that. I got through. I watched season one. I was just like, I can't. I don't have it well, in me, man. That's the weird thing about the leftovers. Season one is like, I this, meh. this is I have a problem with this. When people are like you gotta you gotta get through the first season. It doesn't get good till season three. You know how many hours of my life that is. Yeah, you know how many know. movies I could watch in the amount of time that you're asking me to suffer through this that till it gets good. I could watch I like know. five masterpieces. It's this is a weird one. This is a weird one where it's like season one. It's like very so so and then season two and three are like amazing and it's and it, and it doesn't like negate the first season in any way but it, it just like works on a level that you're not that season one wasn't working on okay and it puts everything into a perspective that you really weren't considering in the in the the, the first season and uh, now it's I don't written know. by the I guys who it. did it's written by the guys who did Watchmen, right? Because I did think that the yeah. Watchmen HBO series was like fucking awesome. So yeah. I know that they've got it in them. I'm down to. Well, I'm down. I I think it's it's the best of that style of storytelling. 
Like, because yeah. it, it's it's uh, the the guy also did Lost, and it's like, yeah, like Lost. It is the HBO version of Lost. Okay. Uh, I have not seen. Oh yeah, I've seen Until the Light Takes Us. I have not seen the. Um, what's the What's the Kieran Culkin black metal movie? I haven't seen that one. Oh, the, the, that's the the true story, right? The one about yeah, yeah. May, mayhem. Lords of Chaos. Lords of you. Chaos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I read the book. I, I have seen. Book is awesome. Euphoria. Euphoria is great. The Love second, Euphoria. I, I like the first season was like this. Felt like this, like really, like kind of like personal kind of like I don't know there's something like like hard drama about the first season and then the second season there was a weird thing where it was like that like I don't know like the controversy of euphoria is like should we be showing this thing where like kids are just like doing an insane amount of drugs and fucking and being so reckless but there was something about the second season of euphoria where it was it was such a specific story that it mm-hmm. felt more of like more soap opera y in a really good way. That kind of mm-hmm. removed it's not saying all teens do this, and it's not saying this is a universal story. It just felt like yeah. more of a specific story. The bear um, was okay. I haven't seen it. I uh, think I haven't seen the boys either. Boys is fun. I know Jeremy. I don't know him well, but I used to I used to see him all the time, but then my friends broke up and then I lost him in the divorce. But um yeah, he's like I didn't realize he was gonna turn into a gigantic sex symbol. That 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 threw me for <laughs> a loop. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, everybody wants to fuck Jeremy. All right. Um, the the th- the funny thing about the bear is it's a show about this restaurant, and it's this like restaurant in Chicago, and uh, like half of it, and it's so Chicago, and it's so like like Chicago actor like like Steppenwolfy kind of like every scene is a scene. And everyone's uh-huh. like, oh, fucking, watch your fucking ass here. Oh, you're always up my fucking ass. I'm up here. And it's like, okay, uh-huh. okay. Uh, but it's like this restaurant and there's always like 10 people working there. But like the clientele are like four construction workers at all time. And it's like, what is this restaurant? Yeah. It's like, we got to be really- loyal to our people. It's like, how is this like financially viable it's not sustainable these are not yeah these are journeymen they cannot do this they can't support you um somebody said lars von trier's uh series but i already lost forgot what it was called i have been looking for that but i can't find it i might have to buy it on dvd yeah um the kingdom right um anyway rehearsal yeah have you been watching rehearsal oh yeah yeah that was crazy great. right my brother got me a uh Am I? Uh, Dude, I'm gonna probably... pee my pants. I gotta. I, go, I can't. Go I can't for it. Do it. I'm gonna look go up. Pee. I'm gonna look this up. My my brother got a a cameo from that 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 lady from rehearsal. Um. Let's see. Uh, how's everyone doing? Um. Nate, can you resend me, if you're watching this, can you resend me the... When when was that? Uh... Oh, wait, here it is, I think. Oh, here we go. Uh... Wait, this is this is not that. This is Zach has seen this, but this. <laughs> Hello, boys and ghouls. Hello, fear fans. Tonight's terror tale I call. The whitest kids you know. <laughs> this is what Nate got you. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. That's right, Zach Gregor. This is a shout out just for you. He said, pause. Good he said Gregor. Brown. Get him out of here. <laughs> it's Gregor. Right. Zach Gregor. <laughs> if 
flag actually did a pretty good job right there, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Nate, Nate resent me this cameo. Hi, Zach Gregor. This is Angela from the rehearsal. I am here to congratulate you guys on your new baby boy. That's so exciting. I'm so glad that he is here with us now. And I know he arrived about four weeks ago. And your brother Nate was telling me that it's been a time, quite a time, the past four weeks. So this lady I came is here out just of her to mind, give you guys dude. a little bit of encouragement, okay? Um, I am not a mother myself, but I've had many dear friends that have been mothers. I've seen my neighbor raise a baby during COVID from in the womb to two years old. And <laughs> I've been a nanny for many new families. I hate it. So I'm dying. I just want to encourage you. The sleep part gets easier, okay? The baby eventually will start sleeping for longer stretches, and you will catch up on your rest, okay? Um, Shut and up. It's okay to let things go right now. The laundry and the vacuuming can wait. It's okay. You can and wear dirty okay clothes. To accept you can live in help filth. too. That's totally fine. So I just want to say you guys are doing amazing, and give yourselves a pat on the back and lots of grace. And actually, it brought up a couple of scriptures on my heart to share with you about grace. <laughs> um, and the first one's in- uh, uh, yeah, then, then she she go on to read Bible verses. She re- reads Bible verses. <laughs> oh my God, dude! There's like there's there's no personality that that triggers me more. That's the most triggering person for me. The her talking to the the rabbi. Was or was it was it a rabbi or uh I don't know man. Uh that oh, was pretty amazing. I'm activated right now. That that sends me into a rage. She she has a uh Instagram account and on her Instagram account she started it like when the whole thing was airing and she was like, I thought I should start this to talk about, you know, what's going on and uh you know, I didn't get... I'll talk about why I left, and I, I didn't get Final Cut with everything. And it's like, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah of no course! <laughs> <laughs> oh, did your agent not get you Final Cut on that show? I didn't get Final Cut. All right, Kanye. Um, wait, let me check Donos again real quick. Oh, Jack or not, just donated 10 bucks. Says, Six weeks until the UK release of Barbarian... That's the best way to avoid spoilers for that long. What's the best way to avoid spoilers for that long? Just, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Can't it's you not mute even out. certain words on your social media so you don't see any tweets that say, like, barbarian or something like that? Ooh, Jack, Jack or not just drop some memes in the chat. Just Jack or gift, not. Just gifted Thanks, buddy. a bunch of subs. A mess, whole mess of subs. Thank you. Um, what's going on in the news? The queen died. That's cool. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> not that I'm celebrating it. I'm just saying, hell yeah, that really happened. I, I'm just yeah. not, not good or bad. People not, died. It just happened. It was don't, bound don't to happen. Do don't do this. Uh, what, what is bad is, uh, uh, I, I, I prefer having the, the, the world's major monarch be someone who kind of unwillingly kind of stepped up into the position in a in her formative years than it being this guy who's just been sitting around his whole life being like when's my mom gonna fucking die like just <laughs> waiting for it like this little brat who's just like do you think Fuck. he even cares do you think he cares i, I have no idea i think I he's like fucking finally i'm the fucking king i think he cares oh yeah okay he's gonna be on all the money He's like, I should have been king when I was young and it mattered and I could have done something with it. Yeah. My mom's such a bitch for being (laughs) so... He just called the dead queen a bitch, dude. No, no. As the new king. As the king. No, no, no. no. I was mocking the king. Mocking the the dead queen. Mocking King Charles. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah. I, I hope I get canceled in the UK. I went to Buckingham Palace in the UK a couple weeks ago. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I didn't go inside. I just went and looked at it. You're like, I, I was, was like, really... Eh. I, I did that a lot, really loud. I just kept like sidling up and going like... Eh. Like no one would notice. I, 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 I wish you were like, I went to Buckingham Palace a couple weeks ago. Or, I was really sick. I met the queen. 
<laughs> it was embarrassing though. I coughed right in her face. <laughs> Uh, the new king has heart disease. All right. All right. Yeah. We all got to go sometime. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Has the, That's a good question. Imagine a king handling cash for real, laughing my ass off. Like, yeah, do you think that the queen ever bought anything in her life with cash? Like, did she ever go into a store and buy something? I bet not. I bet yeah, probably not. not. That's weird. Did you, did, you, did you ever watch the the Crown? No. That's a good show. I heard that's good. It is. It is like. Show. It does not like. I think the best thing is like its narrative style is like each episode is kind of self contained, and it's not so much like hey find out what happens next with this drama on the next episode. There's one episode that's all about uh, this guy who who like breaks into he's just like some guy and he like breaks into the Buckingham Palace and he figures out how to break into Buckingham Palace and he like goes in and kind of like walks around and I think he like sees the queen in her bedroom and uh yeah Did it, that really it a re- yeah a real story that was like really fascinating uh I forget exactly the de- details of it but it was like a great great episode wow <laughs> Uh, Legion King says the queen changed my tire once. Oh. Oh. Well, all right. Uh, Big D Liquor, thank you. I agree. Um, George Harrison got stabbed in his home. What's with the UK and burglars? Okay. All right. You know, a lot of old. Yeah. A lot of old buildings, easy to get into. Will you see Clerks 3? I won't. Sam, will you? Uh, no. I've never seen Clerks 2. I'm, I'm not a Clerks guy. Yeah, yeah. What have you seen from Kevin Smith? I've seen Clerks, Mallrats, Chasing it's Amy. Good... Uh, I, I, I saw here's... Dogma. I'll say, I loved... This is my experience with Kevin Smith. I loved Clerks. I, it came out and I was like, oh, they're saying swear words about Star Wars? Great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Mall Rats in theaters, and I thought it was. I thought that was amazing. I thought Jason Lee was was so funny and charismatic. Uh, and then I think the next one was Chasing, Chasing Amy. Amy. Oh, it was Chasing Amy before that? I saw Chasing Amy, and that was like I remember I th- liking Chasing Amy at the time, and then I watched it rec- like not recently, but like probably eight yeah. years ago, and being like, "What the fuck was I on about? This is like I did not." Feel yeah, I watched same. it a couple years ago, and it was it was not good. It like, did like, not age well. It did not age like yeah yeah it at is. all. It's very weird. Uh, Dogma. I remember thinking Dogma was funny. I just remember um, uh, oh, Tracy Morgan being funny in Dogma. I thought he was good. Dogma was one of those movies that I was looking forward to, was disappointed by, but then when people were like, "Did you like it?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Yeah, that's how I, I was like, sure, I'll just say I liked it. You know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Zach and Mary make a porno. Justin Long is great in that. He's fucking funny as shit. Oh, like yeah, that. yeah. I actually I saw, think he kind of steals that movie. Um, Craig Robinson's funny in it, too. Um, so I lied? Yeah, I lied. Yeah. Uh, Tusk? And then, did you see Tusk? No, did not see Tusk. I think I, I saw Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Actually, you know what the last never thing saw I that. I, Kevin Smith thing I really liked was I really I thought the Clerks cartoon was really funny. Oh really? You got I can't believe you watched that. Yeah. Um, Did you ever see Red State? No. Yeah. I think then I then it was like around Zach and Miri that I, I like kind of got tired of it. Cop out. Uh, I auditioned for Cop Out and I got a call back and I read for for Kevin Smith. I remember I was so nervous. It was for the part that ended up going to Sean William Scott. Um, yeah. yeah, I was excited. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be in a Bruce Willis movie, maybe? I, a friend um, of mine... Was once... he nice? He wasn't nice or not nice. He was just like, thanks, man. Good job. You know, he was nice. You, uh, I bet imagine... he's like a really fun guy. I bet like if you hung out with Kevin Smith, you'd probably have a great time. Yeah. I'm sure he's cool. No, I, it's not that like I don't think Kevin Smith is incapable of making a good movie. It's like honestly that I just don't think that like Clerks 
three looks good, you know? If, if he I haven't even seen the trailer for it. It's He was just on Pete Holmes' podcast? That's crazy. Can you guess... Let, let me see if you can guess what Clerks 3 is about. Okay. Like, you want me to just wing it and just say just what I think it. it would be about? Just wing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. They work at the grocery store, the bodega, whatever, the convenience store. Um, and one of them has a baby, has a child, and they have to go meet the child or something, save the child, something about their kid. And they have to get the gang back together to get their kid out of a jam that they probably never met or something like that. And they have to go travel across the country to get the kid. And along the way, they meet a bunch of celebrities. And then uh, they learn something about themselves. Am I right? No. Uh, (laughs) That's kind kind of what... uh, That was close to Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, though, which already came out. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. uh, It's uh, one of the guys is, is dying of cancer... And so he decides to make the movie Clerks. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's fun. And so it's kind of like a meta, like how, a, how Kevin Smith did it. Like, your life depends on it. you got to make this movie work. So it's, he, like, I max mean, out credit cards and shoot the movie? I guess so. Yeah, it, it's yeah. just like that, like... I mean, I think that's the thing that I was kind of like, uh It's like, it feels like a, a reboot in that way, yeah. Of, like, mm. it's like just like this meta take on everything to make it seem more interesting huh that actually piques my interest though more than what I described it's definitely a better idea than I just pitched so yeah it's not cancer someone said or oh they said not cancer um yeah uh I feel like if you ask Dan Harmon to pitch a Clerks 3 that's what he'd come up with yeah, maybe. Um, all right, man. Well, here's a question. Yeah. If Hollywood was like, you can have any franchise. Zach, you just made Barbarian, the hottest horror movie around. You get the keys to any pre We're Hollywood. We only do pre-existing IP at uh-huh. a certain level. Yeah, uh, yeah. But like you know, we we want. What do you want? I know exactly what I want. Batman. Oh yeah. I have yes. a script in the Batman universe, and I want to make that. I knew that. All right, after Batman. But what take would that you out want? of it. Take that out. Yeah. Hmm. What a great question. I don't know. Um. I have no idea. What What would you do? I would probably do. Um. Oh, I, no, I, I was about to give, like, a, a, a joke answer, but um, I, I actually had an idea for a fun one the other day. Um, I think I there was once I had an idea for uh, um, a, a reboot of Back to the Future 3. Okay. Uh, of, like, just redoing Back to the Future 3. Um, Last Starfighter, that's a good, good, uh, good, just because I don't like, 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 I think Back to the Future 2 is so good, but Back to the Future 3 is basically Black Knight, you know? Mm -hmm. It's basically like, hey, let's just, like, go back further in time, and rather than, like, really play around with, uh, uh, time travel, and I would make a Back to the Future 3 where it's all about them, like, going to different time periods, and then realizing that the only way to fix everything is if uh, um, Doc Brown dies in the 50s or, or yeah, in the 50s and do- they don't create the time machine. And it ends with the DeLorean trying to reach uh, 88 miles per hour before Doc Brown dies and then uh, Marty McFly travels through time there's tire marks but he's just like skidding across the parking lot without a car and then uh, wakes up and decides to like go to Doc Brown's uh, 
um, lab there and then like forgets why he's there and then he shows up to school on time hmm okay that's cool um, that, yeah that's a good one I know what I would do and this is not a joke answer if, I, if, if there was any franchise besides Batman that I could get my hands on it would be Mad Max oh yeah yeah I just think it's the greatest thing ever I, yeah. I wouldn't want to ruin it though. I, I love it and respect it so much that I would be like terrified to, to fuck it up. But I feel like that would be, that would be the, the best. That's great because you it's a character and not like a continuing story. Yeah. Like I mean, like I think that's one of the greatest things about Mad Max is it's that man with no name kind of thing. Yeah. Where it's just like you're not like, hey, you know, like let's build out this universe. It's sort of like. No, like tell a story within this universe. Although the 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 prequel is going to be a little bit more building out the universe, which I'm not mad at because it's as long as it all comes from George Miller, it's like do your thing, dude. Like, but the um, you know, they're doing the prequel right now with Anya Taylor Joy playing um, Furiosa, and uh, I have the graphic novel, which anyone can get, and it's fucking cool. It's like I think they're going to basically just shoot that, and it's like a bunch of like. It's a bunch of chapters of kind of different sprawling things that tell her origin story, and it looks fucking great, dude. I'm so excited for that. You know what would be cool? Another war. What about the Munsters? Wait, have you guys seen the Munsters trailer? I've seen the, the teaser. I haven't seen the actual trailer. Should we do a little... Oh, my God. Everybody watch the Munsters trailer. I'm not going to say anything about it, but it's, it's uh, jaw-on-the-floor stuff. <laughs> Uh, Ancient Moth says Waterworld needs justice from Zach Kreger, the director. I love Waterworld. I'm a big fan of Waterworld. I've probably said that on this show before, but I think that movie is so unfairly hated on. It's stupid, but it's great. I love it. I think it's good. Uh, I love the piss drinking. You got me. Oh, yeah. R-rated Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, I'm interested in that. Yeah. That first Pirates movie was good, but those other movies are so bad. I've never been able to watch a Pirates movie. I, I've I walked out of I, I've I've walked out of two in the theater. Couldn't do it. Um. Oh yeah, do you think Red Letter Media will tackle my movie? I don't think honestly. I don't really agree with the Red Letter Media guys. They like a lot of shit I don't like, and they don't like shit I do like. So I don't even if they like my movie, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those guys. We Fantas- different- Fight Barn? Fight, Fight Barn. Barn. No. <sighs> That's sad. That we'll never make Fight Barn. Can't do it without Trevor. Yeah, we can't do it without Trevor. Yeah. I, I think that would have been a fun one to like kind of yeah. go back and see if we can figure out. And that's like a... I like that. I like that we kind of took a break with the Mars script when we were writing it to try and write something else. Couldn't figure it out yeah. and then figured out Mars script. But uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what? Phantasm's a really cool movie world that... Yeah, Phantasm's fun. Oh, you know what I think is really funny? Is, like, I'm, I'm excited about, like, another Hellraiser movie. Oh, American Legends. Zaitoro, hello. Thank you. Love you, too. We always Slam were going to do it. A... What up? We were going to do a reading of that American Legends script before uh, Trevor passed. Oh, dude, American Legends is so fucking funny, man. That <laughs> script is the best. What, we we got to do a reading of American yeah, Legends yeah, we can. on Twitch yeah. just because it's so funny and we got to do it. Um, yeah. Have I seen someone's watching me? No. Would I go on the last drive-in with Joe Bob Briggs? Sure. What do you think the spirit of Roger Ebert would think of Barbarian? I think he'd like it. Yeah. I think he would. He likes he he I like Roger Ebert. I think he had he had good takes often. He had funny things like it. he had funny like like sometimes there'd be things that he loved and sometimes there'd be things that like he hated too that were like Yeah. He wasn't always dead on the money, but I read his encyclopedia when I was like 13 you know he had like a thousand movie review book it was like this thick i read the whole fucking thing so i I very much like was kind of my he he informed a lot of my taste for better or worse that was a a, that was a neat show i never watched the show was it at at the movies 
Yeah. I mean, that was the like the where the two thumbs up, two thumb like that where that kind of came in. Yeah. Because you know it's like Roger and Ebert, they were like uh, two movie reviewers and uh, had their own takes, but like uh, it was kind of interesting to see two film critics like tackle each movie and kind of talk about. Yeah. Oh. We talked about this a little bit, but I, I finally saw uh, Saint Maud. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, I really dug, and uh, I love it. was was not the movie I thought it was going to be. It didn't have as many like. It's not no- as much of a horror movie. Yeah. As as maybe people expect, so don't go into it thinking you're watching like a straight up horror horror movie. But it is a horror movie. Yeah, it remind opinion. it reminded me kind of of it's funny because you did not like this movie as much but it reminded me a little bit of um uh midsummer i like midsummer i just you thought that to me hereditary hereditary is is just like a a perfect masterpiece and so i'm i'm a little hard on midsummer but if i'd never seen hereditary i would be probably really big fan of midsummer but i just you know sometimes it works that way but like they those both those movies are like aren't big on like any sort of jump scare but they're like kind mm-hmm. of these strange moments throughout and have this like very like they leave you in the end like with the the ending being like really memorable and uh makes a yeah. big impression on your brain a lot of people a lot of I people love, agree with you professor a lot of people like Midsommar more i loved the last shot of uh of saint Maud. Yeah, it's amazing. I thought that's was really great, the imagery, but also like what it was and what it says. Yeah. Um, it's cool. Martyrs? I don't know. Martyrs is hardcore, man. Not for the squeamish. First I have reformed. Seen first reformed. It's good. I like. It's I really very like much like. Culture. I think of Saint Maud as a Paul Schrader movie, so it's it makes sense to talk about them together. But I, I prefer Saint Maud. Oh yeah, yeah. First Reformed is, is, yeah. What if, uh, what if we made Taxi Driver right now about uh, the environment and he's a priest? <laughs> it's like, I really dug that. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys see Cow- Card Counter? No. It's another Schrader movie. Too. I started watching it and and it was like the wrong situation. And everyone was like, this isn't a poker movie. Right. (laughs) Okay. Uh, All right, man. I got to get ready. I'm going to uh, Sarah's grandmother's 90th birthday today. Ooh. Have fun. Yeah. She's, that's the one that parties, right? (laughs) She's, she's always asking me if I brought booger sugar. Uh, that's, Did that, you that, bring any booger sugar for me? That's it such is like my an birthday. old lady way to put it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yes, I brought you your booger sugar. Guys, I'm in the kitchen. I'm just like putting powdered sugar into a like a mirror and chopping it up. <laughs> Everyone's like, Zach. I'm like, she likes it. They're like, she's diabetic. You should give her cocaine. <laughs> like, ironically, coke would be better for her. You know this. That's, so uh, funny. that's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, thanks. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for all of the well wishes and all the support I've seen across all of social media for, for the movie. It's It's been so great to see all the doll lickers coming out and representing. I really I really do appreciate it. So thank you, guys. Yeah. Th- thanks, I mean, everyone, for uh, uh, continuing to support the movie and uh, f- for all this, the reactions we had there and the excitement for that. Uh, and uh, I, I just want to say, like, like, sorry, we've been really bad at streaming lately. Yeah, uh, you know, Zach's had a lot going on with his movie, and uh, Timmy bought a house, and I had a baby. You had a baby, and uh, <laughs> no Darren's one, in London. No one's heard from Darren, and like, we're worried. But um, yeah, can we do a wellness check on Darren, guys? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, no, it's true. Everyone's got a lot going on these days, but. Rest assured, Mars is, it is, the train is on the tracks. It is moving along. It's better than ever. Like, uh, I, we're going to finish it soon. Um, like, very soon. So we will we will keep you posted. We're going to Mars. We, we do have to raise more money. But, um, you know, we're going to get there. 
I, I promise. Oh yeah, Deja is, is how my classes are doing. I'm I'm if you are interested in taking sketch classes with me, email me at samwkuk.class at gmail.com. I'm starting a new level one next week. And if you've already taken my class, I'm starting a new level two next week too. And if you've taken my level two, I'm gonna wait until I get further into this level two before I make that level three so I have more people. But yeah. Um all right, buddy. It's a, Thanks, guys. Oh, wait. One more dono. One more dono. Hyphen oh. Podmus in the city said, donated 10 bucks. Says, I'm missing the stream right now because I just left the theater seeing Barbarian. Zach, what the fuck? I mean, it was amazing, but what the fuck? Proud of you, buddy. Well, thank you very much. Oh. Okay, sorry to end it back on me here, guys. No, no. It's okay. All right, dudes. Love you guys. Thank you, doll lickers. Later, Sam. Thanks, guys. Later. We'll I'll, do it again soon. Yeah. We'll, we'll do this right, more man. regular. All right. See you. Cool. Peace. I got this narrow bar now. All right, I'm gonna, I'm going to look for someone to raid, but also uh, someone saying what kind of class? It's a sketch writing class. Uh, if you are interested, again, Sam, WKUK class at gmail dot com, and I'll email you, but about all the details. Actually, I can probably just while I'm looking up who to raid, I'll tell you some of the details. Uh, it's eight weeks, three hours a week each class, uh, and it's three hundred bucks to reserve your spot. It's one fifty, and then at some point you can pay the other one fifty. But also, I'm a chill guy. I you know like if you're having trouble, I, I understand that three hundred dollars is a lot of money. If you're having trouble paying. Uh, you know, like we can, as long as you're communicating with me, we can work out like how that goes down. Uh, so, um, yeah. Oh fuck. I'm not logged into this thing. Um, but like it's a zoom class. It's, uh, the next level one is starting on Thursday five to five o'clock pacific time to eight o'clock uh if you're interested but you're not going uh, but that time doesn't work out email me also because i can put you on a list um oh eth token saying he'll sponsor a student uh yeah um and it's hanging out and reading sketches and talking about sketch comedy for three hours a week and uh if you're wondering what if i've never done this before that's totally fine if you're like i do this is it too beginnery for me no it's really the thing i concentrate is a is the thing i concentrate on is making people better at writing sketches so not trying to to like make people like be like this is funny this is not funny i'm just trying to make people like a little bit more aware a little bit more you know like tapped in to how to how to communicate that stuff <laughs>